Hi everyone. Let's provide a solution to this. We have x plus 3 to the power of 4 equals 16. Okay, before I solve this, please be sincere. Is this the first time you are coming across my video? Okay, is it your first time of um, seeing a video like this on YouTube? Okay, if it is not your first time and you have not subscribed, then it's not okay. Subscribe so you can get more of my videos. Now, what do I do from here? I want to take the square root of both sides. S plus 3 to the power of 4 is on the left. Then on the right hand side, we are going to have square root of 16. And every time you take square root of both sides, on the other side, on the right, you should have positive or negative value. Now this square root will go into these two times. So that means that we'll be having x plus 3 to the power of 2 on the left hand side. And this will be equal to positive or negative square root of 16 will give us 4. Now we have x plus 3. Because of the square here, we're going to have this in two places. And that will be equal to plus or minus 4. Now let us expand. x times x will give x squared. Plus x times 3 will give 3x. Plus 3 times x will give 3x. Then 3 times 9, um, 3 will give us 9. This is equal to plus or minus 4. Now we have x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals plus or minus 4. Now what again should I do? Let's bring um, this to the left. But if you're going to bring this to the left, will you bring it as positive or you will bring it as negative? That is a serious question, right? But what we're going to do is we're going to write this as two different equations. The first equation will be x squared plus 6x plus 9 equals 4. Now I'm going to come back here again and I will make this one to be negative 4. But this time around, it is positive 4. So we have x squared plus 6x plus 9. This becomes negative 4 on the left and this is equal to 0. Now x squared plus 6x plus this minus this will give 5 is equal to 0. So what we'll do now is to use the quadratic formula to solve this. Remember that the formula has a, which is equal to 1 from this equation. a is the coefficient of x squared. Then we have our b, which is 6. And we have the c, which is the constant, and it is positive 5. So what is the formula? x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac as we divide all through by 2a. Now let us substitute into this formula so that our x will now be minus 6 because b is 6, right? So we have minus 6 plus or minus b squared will now be 6 squared minus 4 times 1 because a is 1 and c is 5. So all of this will be divided by 2 times 1. Now our x from here will be minus 6 plus or minus square root of 6 squared is 36. 6 squared is 36. Then minus 4 times 1 times 5 is 20. As we divide all of this by 2 times 1 and it is 2. Now x is minus 6 plus or minus, we subtract what we have here as we get 16. Then we divide this by 2. Mind you, 16 is a perfect square. So our x will be 6 minus 6 rather plus or minus. Square root of 16 is going to give us 4 
and then we divide by 2. Now let's break this into two so that we have positive first and then the second we have negative. Let's go there. Okay, so our x will now be minus 6 plus 4 over 2 or minus 6 minus 4 over 2. Right? Okay. Now x is minus 6 plus 4 will give us minus 2 and that is over 2 or on this side we are going to have minus 10 over 2 so our x from here now okay so our x will now be equal to minus 2 over 2 is minus 1 then minus 10 over 2 will be minus 5 so from here we have two solutions now do not forget what i said before that i will go and pick another equation and deal with it so let's go pick it up okay so here is the equation the one we used before is positive 4 on the right so we have x squared now plus 6x right then plus 9, this becomes plus 4, equals 0. Now we have x squared plus 6x plus 13 equals 0. And like we did before, our a is 1, because this is still a quadratic equation. Our b is 6, and our c is 13. I think that is the only thing that has changed. And the equation is x, I mean the formula is x equals minus b plus or minus, we have square root of b squared minus 4ac. All of this is over 2 times a. Now our x will be minus b, that will be minus 6, plus or minus b squared will be 6 squared like before, then minus 4 times 1 times 13. Because a is 1 and c is 13, as we divide all through by 2 times 1. Now, x will be minus 6, plus or minus, 6 squared is still 36, minus 4 times 13 will give us 52. Okay, so to continue, we divide by what? By 2, because 2 times 1 is 2. Now, x from here will be minus 6, plus or minus, we now have to subtract what we have here. Okay, so to subtract this, we're going to have negative, we're going to have um, negative value, and that is negative, negative 16. Remember, the one we got before is positive 16, so now we're having negative 16. So now, to continue, our x will be minus 6 plus or minus, we have square root of 16. Oh, I didn't write the negative. So that means I can write it this way, you know, put minus 1 there. So that if I multiply this and this, I will have negative 16. Then we divide this by 2. To go ahead, our x will now be minus 6 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 square root of negative 1 is imaginary then we divide this by 2 now we proceed so that our x will now be minus 6 plus 4i divided by 2 or minus 6 minus 4i divided by 2 our x from here is 2 can go there, we have minus 3 plus the same 2 will go into 4i, we'll have 2i. Or on this side, okay, this is supposed to be, um, yes, this is minus 6, right? 2 into minus 6 will get minus 3, then minus the same 2 into 4i will get 2i. So from here we have two solutions again. Let's bring the four, um, the four solutions together. x1, right, from what we got before is minus 1. x2 is minus 5, if you can remember. 
then our x3 is from here that will be minus 3 plus 2i yes then our x4 will be minus 3 minus 2i so this right here are the four solutions to the equation.